Good evening, everyone. We're excited to have you join us um, for the harassment in aviation. This being presented by your 99s member council. The 99s, if you're not a member, um, we have been inspiring women pilots since 1929 with over 6,000 members in 60 countries across the globe in 28 sections and 151 chapters in the United States and Canada. Your member council, um, our mission is to demonstrate respect for and appreciation of all women pilots by valuing diversity and inclusion while promoting aviation to our communities and to the youth. So today is an exciting evening for us because we're launching the first of six of our 2021 webinar series, Turbulence to Triumph, Navigating Experiences to Empowerment. So now I would like to take this opportunity to introduce your speaker for the evening, Captain Jenny Beatty, a pilot for Global Airlines, um, for 39 years and 19,000 hours. She's an aviation writer, an advocate, and special subject expert for um, on harassment in aviation. She is a lifetime member of the 99s, and she's also a member of the 99s Member Council. So please visit her website. It's there on the bottom, www.geniebeatty.com. And there's your advertisement for the evening. So um, everyone, welcome Captain Beatty. Thank you so much to everybody who's joining us this evening. Thank you to the 99s and the member council. Thank you, Dr. Randolph Graham. And I wanna make a special thank you uh, because this research that I've conducted is supported in part by a research scholar grant of the Amelia Earhart Memorial Scholarship Fund of the 99s. Thank you. Today's presentation, it's gonna be about 90 minutes long. Video recording is already in progress. And because of the sensitive nature of this topic, uh, we ask that you not unmute at all during the uh, entire presentation and instead use the question uh, function to submit a question you might have for me. And you can do that at any time. And uh, towards the bottom here, it says, uh, It'll be screened by Dr. Randolph Graham, and uh, she will uh, ask me the questions in the question and answer period, de-identified. Also, you can participate in the polls without concern. They're completely anonymous. And as uh, another thing that you need to know is that the PowerPoint program uh, has a lot of text. It's pretty text heavy uh, because there are some people who uh, indicated to me that they're hearing impaired and, and it would be useful to have this information. If I move too quickly, you don't have a chance to see everything that's on the screen. Again, we're, this is being recorded and it'll be on the public website so you can review it later. So right now we uh, would like to start with the very first poll question. And there it is. If you complete, it says, based on your current understanding, have you ever been harassed during any aviation activities? I want, as we are doing this and before we look at the poll results, I want to let you know that we've made this seminar open to anybody. Um, I'm going to make a guess that most of the people um, viewing the presentation right now are women and are pilots, but we've opened it to everybody. So uh, there are probably men uh, responding right now and people from all races, genders uh, and uh, gender identities, and even uh, people beyond the United States, non-pilots, a variety of people. There we go. So I'm a little bit older. I'm going to use my glasses. So. Um, Never, 12%, rarely have experienced some harassment in aviation, 43%. Frequently, 37%, not sure, 6%, and prefer not to say, which is perfectly fine, but 2%. I want to talk a little bit more about me because um, who I am and how I developed as a person and also as a pilot um, affected me in, um, in how I view, uh, how I identify myself and how uh, I view this, this issue. And, and, and it helps shape uh, how I approach this issue. And I think you should know where I'm coming from. So I do come from a family of some pilots. My maternal grandparents and my mother were private pilots and I learned to fly in 1981. I was a commercial pilot for, uh, from 1983 to 91. And at almost every uh, company where I worked, I was the only woman in the whole company. 
some of them were quite small. I uh, got my air trans airline transport pilot certificate in 1988, and at that time, about 1.8 correction, 1.5 of all ATPs were women. I uh, began my airline pilot career in 1991. I'm, I, as I said, I'm a captain for a global airline now. I've worked for four airlines altogether, including this one. And in every new hire pilot class, I was the only woman. In fact, I went to recurrent training in December in the systems review class. I was the only woman. I just, just came back from training yesterday on the 737 MAX. There were 12 people in two sessions to uh, it, to use two simulators out of everybody there, I was the only woman. And I say that because this has shaped uh, my experience as a pilot in aviation. A little bit, and um, before I talk about what else is on the slide, I also wanna say I am of uh, white uh, ethnicity. I was born and raised in the United States. I'm American citizen. And my family ancestry is for uh, longtime Americans back to the Mayflower Pilgrims. And uh, I'm mostly of English and Scots-Irish heritage. And uh, I bring that up because sometimes it isn't obvious. And this is, it sh again, it shapes my perspective of, and how I live in, in the world. But also my family, we lived abroad uh, in Brazil for three years. And I lived abroad for one year as an exchange student in Colombia, South America. I'm fluent in Spanish. Sometimes people, when they hear me speak Spanish, think that I have a Hispanic background, and I don't. Also, I was raised uh, Christian Protestant. So uh, I hit a lot of the markers for what you could say is the dominant group in the United States, white, Christian Protestant, English, Anglo background. But as you can see, when, when I uh, joined aviation, that's where uh, I got my experience of being um, in a minority status as a female in a non-traditional role. All right, so since 19, uh, sorry, uh, 2017, for the last three years, I've begun doing extensive research about harassment and discrimination in aviation. And this includes um, private conversations with very many women, people of color, people in the LGBTQ community, who've been targeted by harassment, discrimination, and even assault. I'm trained as a peer support volunteer, but it's really important for you to know that I don't have any formal training or certification in rape crisis or mental health or human resources or the law.